In today's episode, we're going to talk about a film that originally was called Ragin' Cajun Redneck Gators. And the actual title now is Alligator Alley in 2013. This movie was so fucked up. One hour and 28 minute action adventure released May of 2019. Oh my God. When a young woman comes home from college to her family, mutated alligators start attacking her kin and the rivaling family in the bayou. They must overcome their feuds and fight together against the redneck gators. Holy shit. I didn't exactly know what was going on with this film until it presented itself. Directed by Griff First, written by Keith Allen, Raphael Jordan, and Delandra Mesa. Here's the cast. Michael Baird as Dale. Nicoy Banks as Sheriff Landry. Christopher Berry as Bud, Amy Brissett as Candy Duche, John Chris as Dathan, Danny Cosmo as Swamper, Shana Forstall as Deputy Darla Duche, Jordan Danger as Avery, Matthew James as Blue Shine, Isaiah Laborde as Curly Duche, Jimmy Lee Jr. as Jonas, Richie Montgomery as Lucian Duche, and Thomas Francis Murphy as Wade Robidoux. And the cast goes on. I am speechless that I, one, that I actually missed it. This is from the talented Griff first. Well, as I said, a young woman comes back home from the big city from college to this backwoods drinking, fishing lifestyle. There's two feuding families, as I mentioned. Well, the um, the Robochild family makes moonshine. They're using some kind of blue chemical, and somehow it was not working. So the sun was dumping it into the river. Apparently, this caused these alligators to create their own style of creature. Now they have spiked tails and they have red on them. They're basically redneck alligators. And when you find out who these alligators are from drinking this shit or even eating the meat of these, you know, animals. Oh my goodness gracious. I didn't know what I was getting myself into at first. It's totally... It's going to throw you for a loop. So the story basically is two feuding families. Now one family's making moonshine that wasn't going very well. They dump it into the river. The it Obviously, the alligators, you know, was around it. And it turned them into these so-called goofy-looking, deformed new breed of an alligator with spike tails and so forth. That ended up being the other family's siblings. Later in the movie, you see the father who got bitten or by the one alligator, and he basically turns into one of those alligators. Yes, you heard me right. Yes. Unbelievable film. The ending of this film is really off the wall, fucking funny and goofy. Is I'll say no more than that. You can watch it on Tubi. I'll say it. So basically, it's now a struggle to get, kill these alligators. But the problem is, the girls that's the girl's family. She has a choice to make. And then you have the remaining father of the feud wants to kill her dad. You know? So it turned out that, you know, the final battle was him against his enemy as an alligator. The alligator kills him, he shoots the alligator, but the alligator survived. And here's the kicker. How she got pregnant with no boyfriends beyond me, but at the end of the movie, it has her with her baby and her dad as the alligator, as a pet. And he comes out of the water and goes up to her like they're best friends. It's one of the goofiest, funniest movies I've ever seen from the Sci-Fi Channel. Definitely got to check this one out. Alligator Alley in 2013. Wow. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film an 8 out of 10 just for the complete 
off the wall storyline that I fucking love. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here. <laughs>